second. Good afternoon to all of you. I am Dr. S. Vijay Agavan, Assistant Regional Director, IGNO Regional Center, uh, Cochin. So today uh, we are going to talk about environmental pollution. So what is the significance of uh, preventing the pollution in the environment? So these are all the things uh, we can see on today. So environmental pollution can be defined as any undesirable uh, change in physical, chemical, or biological characteristic of any component of the environment, air, water, soil, which can cause harmful effect on various form of life and property. So types of the pollution. So uh, various type of the pollution is there. So in that uh, first air pollution, water pollution, land pollution, or soil pollution, sound pollution or noise pollution so generally generally the stuff substances which is caused the pollution it is otherwise called as pollutant this pollutant various type of the pollutions uh, pollutant are there so depending and the origin of the uh, pollutant this pollutant degradable and non degradable pollutants and point source of pollution pollutant and nine points of sub, uh, pollutants so here generally the substances that causes pollution is called pollutant I told so various type of the pollutants are there so it is uh, biological pollutant chemical pollutant or physical pollutant so pollutant are basically two type persistent pollutant non persistent pollutants the persistent pollutants such as pesticides, nuclear waste, and plastics. So non-persistent pollutants, plants, debris, animal debris, and organic uh, materials. So from another perspective, a pollutant can be classified according to origin, man-made pollutant, and natural pollutant. So man-made pollutant, which is uh, originally caused by the anthropogenic activities by the man or human beings so accordingly to nature primary pollutant uh, and secondary pollutant so we are classifying primary pollutant and secondary pollutant according to the decomposition of nature degradable and non-degradable pollutant so degradable what, what are the degradable pollutant which can and be degraded by the natural environment or microbes uh, that is mostly organic components so debris of plants and debris of animals which can be degradable uh, in case of non degradable pollutant which is mad by the human being that is for example plastic and DDT DDT one type of the pesticides that is a ergonochlorine uh, type of the uh, pesticides which the self life more than 200 years once it is applied in the agricultural land uh, it is not a water soluble particularly the DDT aldrin these are all the chemical components or oil soluble so which can be persist in the soil uh, more than 200 years and it can be affect the natural environment including the human beings so while during the raining season these pesticide components or pollutants which will be uh, along with the rainwater it will reach the water environment such as barn, rivers uh, and uh, sea so that animals in the uh, sea or marine environment also which is suffering by the uh, pollutants so according to origin and point source of pollutant uh, for example point source which is origin from one, one of the points and nine point source which is coming from the various places that is a non point source of the pollu uh, pollutants so uh, uh, now we can see that water pollution 
so which is one of the major problem in the countries so water pollution ha can be defined as alteration in physical chemical or biological characteristic of water through natural or human activities and making it unsuitable for its designated use so physical characteristic of refers to color taste turbidity and smell of water which will be changed due to the water pollution the chemical characteristic of refers to ph tds total dissolved solid that is a tds so do uh, dissolved oxygen in the water and cod and bod the cod mean chemical oxygen demand and bod mean biological oxygen demand so one water environment which doesn't have the oxygen in the water in the dissolved nature so the living organism which is depend and uh, in the water which will get trouble or it will be die so the level of the biological oxygen in the water must be uh, correctly maintained otherwise the water will be polluted for example if you see the water environment there is a icarnia one of the plants that is otherwise uh, that name is icarnia if the icarnia is much more growing in the uh, bond system that water uh, must be contaminated or uh, polluted so this is a biological ident uh, indicator so that water uh, wherever the icarnia is there the water always is uh, contaminated or polluted that you can easily identify so biological characteristic refer to presence of biological component bacteria and fungi so earth one third of uh, part of the available water from ice groundwater uh, is pure rest is contaminated the most of the contamination to do the human being or anthropogenic activities in the uh, air so which is we are only really destroying so the pollution most of the uh, things is created by the anthropogenic activities nature whenever it can pollute meat automatically it, it will be cured that is a natural uh, process but whenever the chemical components or uh, uh, which is non degradable material which is introduced to the uh, earth environment so automatically it will pollute so that will uh, lead to lot of uh, uh, problems uh, for living organism on the earth so here source of water the source of water pollution can be classified as municipal waste water industrial pollution uh, waste water from the industry metals inorganic pollutants fine particles of heavy metal chlorides organic pollutants oil uh, phenols organic acids like hno3 uh, etc the agriculture waste chemical fertilizer and pesticides so we need to understand the uh, differentiation of the fertilizers and pesticides fertilizers which is uh, the potash uh, these are all the uh, nutrients chemically available nutrient that is a fertilizer which will give the growth of the uh, plant the pesticides which is uh, uh, introduced for killing the pest in the agriculture environment that is also chemical components so both are is uh, uh, dangerable and damage to the agriculture environment so once the agriculture environment the fertilizer is more applying you can get the greenish uh, crop but the soil always which is uh, polluted and soil uh, getting a uh, lot of trouble and it does, does not have the natural characteristic when you are applying the fertilizers so the same the fertilizer which will uh, contaminate in the river ecosystem as well as the marine environments so here marine pollution so marine pollution is one of the major uh, problem in the uh, country so mostly the grease from the ships oils and detergents so these are all the thing and now even the pesticides is also contaminated uh, in the marine environment so here uh, even the radioactive radioactive element also polluted in the marine waters so wherever the uh, the atomic reactor which is located near the seashore 
that contaminated water which is discharged to the marine environment that is affecting the uh, marine fishes. So it is lead to uh, DNA damage and uh, abnormalities in the engone of fishes and these are all the natural problem is happening when we are polluting the environment. So thermal pollution, thermal it is a heat. So heat also one of the uh, pollutants is more heat. Uh, thermal uh, plants which is uh, 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 creating the pollution and nuclear plants. So here uh, effect of water an excessive amount of mercury in water can cause venomata disease in humans and rough sea in fishes lead in large amount uh, can cause dyslexia. Uh, cadmium poisoning cause itai itai disease. This is uh, happening in the uh, uh, Southeast Asia. So this uh, mercury and cadmium also uh, major pollutant uh, of the water, water environment. The polluted water has less amount of dissolved oxygen. DO content which is important for sensitive organisms uh, thereby eliminates sensitive organism. So the dissolved oxygen must be maintained in the water environment. If the water does not have the enough dissolved oxygen that water automatically will be contaminated. So the fishes cannot be live there and also the plants small micro uh, algae also cannot able to live. Uh, in that particular environments. So excess nitrate in drinking water is dangerous for infants and human health. The excess fluoride causes uh, neuromuscular disorder. The fluoride also one of the pollutant which is uh, causing the disorder of neurons, nerves as well as the uh, muscles of the human beings and uh, teeth deformity. So wherever the fluoride is there, much more fluoride content in the drinking water the people are suffering by the teeth deformity and yellowish teeth. So that is uh, one of the major pollutant in India. The hardening of bones and painful joints. These are all the created by the contaminated water. So biological magnification and eutrophication. So eutrophication is one of the process. So what eutrophication? When you are using lot of detergents or fertilizer in the water environment, so due to that, uh, much more nutrients are available. There, lot of the green algae will grow. So that will contaminate the uh, water environments. So these are all the uh, problem uh, the environment is uh, facing. So control of water pollution, usage, usage of water should be minimized by changing the techniques involved first. And recycling and treatment of water should be used to the maximum extent possible, recyclable. So whenever that uh, sewage water, it must be recycled by using the sewage plant. And then it may be used for the uh, small cordons, which is available on the roadside. So that will be saving the uh, water scarcity. And the excessive use of pesticides and fertilizers should be avoided. So that is one of the very good uh, important point. So the pesticides, the mean be introduced in the agriculture environment for killing the pest which is harmful to the crops. But it is killing the most of the organism, not the targeted organism, that is uh, things. So when the pesticides introduced in the agriculture environment to kill the target organism, but it is killing non-target non organism also. So that will lead to damage in the ecosystem and uh, biodiversity of the particular environments. So fertilizers also should be avoided. So that's why now, nowadays we are going for biological fertilizer. This biological fertilizer uh, which will be uh, good for the uh, natural environment. So organic farming efficient use of animal residue as a fertilizers. Uh, these are all the things uh, good for the environments. Here, uh, next we can see the air pollution. The air pollution is the introduction of the chemical particulate matter or biological material that cause harm or discomfort to human or other living organism. 
or cause damage to the natural environment or build the environment in the atmosphere. So here, lot of the industries, the industry which is releasing the uh, lot of toxic gases to the environment that is directly affecting the plants as well as the animals. So whenever uh, you are going through the industrial area, you are getting uh, order in the air and that will be uh, lead to lot of uh, damage to the internal organs, particularly the lungs which will be uh, suffered very badly. And these uh, substances, these pollutant which will be traveled through the blood circulation. So it will make lot of troubles and uh, uh, problem to the uh, humans. The substances in the air that cause harm to humans and environment is known as air pollutant. So it causes of air pollution, carbon dioxide. Uh, this happened because deforestation and fossil fuel burning. So we are having the, you see deforestation, the cutting the tree and afforestation, the planting the tree or planting the sapling. So here deforestation is one of the major uh, problems uh, in our country. So we need to grow the plants because the oxygen which is uh, given by the plant, that oxygen which is depending our lungs. So without oxygen you cannot live maximum, uh, 5 minutes you cannot tolerate. So oxygen is very very essential uh, for living the human being which is given by the plants. So we need to grow the plants and we should not go for deforestation. The deforestation is a one of the uh, major problems in the developing countries. So that will be uh, uh, prevented. And the fossil fuel burning also one of the problem. Sulfur dioxide due to the burning of sulfur containing compounds of fossil fuels, uh, golds and petroleum. Uh, so due to that the sulfur dioxide is forming that is also creating the problem. Sulfur dioxide is very dangerous to human at high concentration. Sulfur is the atmosphere is responsible for acid rain. Whenever the sulfur which is produced uh, or em emission done by the industry that is going to uh, uh, top side of the environment. Whenever the rain will come, this sulfur can be dissolved uh, in the rain water and again it will come, th uh, come to the earth. Then lot of corrosion and uh, it will damage uh, to the plants, plants leaves and a uh, lot of destruction will be there. So acid rain uh, is mainly due to the release of sulfur dioxide from the industry. So nitrous oxide it is also one of the problematic gas which is uh, uh, harmful to the environment and secondary pollutant, photochemicals mag and acid rain. Uh, these are all the uh, pollution. So here uh, what are the air pollution sources? One is natural sources, another one man-made sources. So natural solution you see volcanic eruptions, forest fire, biopollutant, uh, strong wind or storms. This is also creating the uh, pollution in the desert area. So whenever the strong winds and storm will come, it will uh, destroy the uh, agriculture environment and also the uh, forest environment. So man-made sources, burning of fossil fuel, uh, carbon, uh, CO2, particulate metals and hydrocarbons and uh, metallic traces. Automobile also one of the uh, great uh, polluters in the, pollu in the environment. Steel plants, thermal plants, uh, the thermal power plants and textile industry. The textile industry, uh, particularly the cotton, dust, nitrogen oxide, chlorine, SO2, smoke, vapors of Napta, these are all the things released by the textile in industry. The textile industry uh, also they are polluting uh, uh, by using the dyes or colors. The dyes which is directly uh, so without uh, following the rules and regulation, they are discharging to the uh, river environment. So that is very harmful to the fishes. So that is also one of the uh, major reasons. The fertilizer industry, uh, which is a source of oxide of sulfur, ammonia, uh, oxides of nitrogen, hydrocarbon, these are all the major uh, 
problem uh, uh, for the uh, due to the air pollution so here cause of global warming due to excess concentration of co2 cfc so2 these are all the one of the reason uh, for the global warming global warming is otherwise called as increase of temperature so we have the particular temperature for living the uh, uh, human beings if the temperature will exceed then it is uh, edible to bear so that is uh, uh, the only one method you can reduce the global warming by following the uh, afforestation planting the sapling and growing the trees so that is the reason the government of india many places biosphere uh, reserve uh, places or natural parks they are starting because then only the plants and animal can be saved in the particular environment uh, without uh, interfering by the human beings the causes of uh, greenhouse effect that is also one of the reason uh, for the air pollution uh, causes of acid rain so nitrogen oxide in the air uh, causes problem in the lungs uh, respiratory system and the causes of asthma and bronchitis so this is the whenever the air pollution is happening the human being directly they are suffering and it is uh, uh, creating the problem in the lungs so lungs which is suffer uh, mostly due to the air pollution the suspended particulate matter in air causes lung irritation reduce the development of rbc and pulmonary malfunctioning so co causes severe headache irritation to mucous membrane unconsciousness and death so photochemical smog causes asthma and bronchitis these are all the effects and control of air pollution how to control the air pollution policy measures and environmental protection act 1986 must be uh, uh, strictly implemented so whenever the people not listening we should go for strict uh, rules and regulation then only it will be adhered or comply by the uh, people's human beings the modification of industrial process and selection of sustainable fuels and it is ut utilizations uh, collection of pollutants from the source or non point sources and convert it into the less toxic forms by different methods so mass emission centers fuel quality specifications uh, alternate fuel initiatives so next we can see that land pollution or soil pollution which is a major concern uh, in the present scenario the soil pollution is one of the major problem because all the living uh, organisms such as animals or plants which is depend on the soil only when the soil is polluted it is directly or indirectly it is affecting the human being as well as the animals so the food chain will be suffered and uh, the natural ecosystem or natural environment totally suffered due to the soil pollution and the soil pollution mostly um, uh, which is uh, or, uh, introduced by the anthropogenic activities by the human beings the land pollution is the demolition of earth land surface often caused by human activities and their misuse of land resources it accuses when waste is not disposed properly causes of land pollution four four main causes of land pollution are intensive use of pesticides and fertilizer in agriculture practices so you see the pesticides most of the pesticides organochlorine uh, pesticides are banned items so that should not be used in the agriculture environment so the pesticides are classified organochlorine organophosphate and carbamide and fungicides so here most of the pesticide organophosphate is a neurotoxin similarly organochlorine also neurotoxin so this very dangerous chemicals which is used in the agricultural land for killing the pests but this pesticide components which is entered to the plant tissue also so in case the 
organophosphate which is uh, organophosphate or organochlorine pesticides which is used in the agricultural land in the uh, baddy field so the pesticide uh, chemical component which is available or which is entered in the plant cells and which is available in the baddy also baddy or rice so is automatically when you are consuming that rice you will be suffered so this is the food chain totally suffered uh, by this uh, taxi chemicals so that should be banned or it should not be used we can use the bio pesticides or various methods uh, natural methods we can uh, be follow for control the pests the unscientific disposal of solid waste on land uh, that is uh, one of the major reason so scientific always the scientific disposal which leads to the better environment if you are following the strict uh, the scientific norms then it is lead to the destruction dumping of radioactive waste on land and radioactive outfall this is a major uh, concern in the developing countries so the radioactive wastes which is lead to a lot of uh, cancers so it will damage the dna so if a dna is damaged mean chromosome also will be altered so that lead to lot of problem in the human being as well as the plants the heavy metal in the soil that is also one of the major uh, reason uh, the soil pollution so effect of land pollution so first we can see the agricultural land agricultural land is one of the uh, important things for or the animals for the human beings it reduces the soil fertility and thus the crop yields increase soil erosion and salinity salinity mean uh, the salt uh, level so uh, some places the salinity level in the soil if suppose is much more in salinity level uh, that will affect the uh, agricultural uh, plants the agricultural plant cannot be grown in the high salinity level uh, soils so that is all the one of the effect and the ecological imbalance and imbalance in flora and fauna further increases so the environment which is maintaining the balance naturally it is maintaining the balance but when the human being are artificially introducing any chemicals or any substances in the soil system the imbalance will be uh, disturbed the balance will be disturbed so hence lot of flora it mean the plants lot of fauna uh, where the animals is living in the environment which is suffering the problems in the urban area like lacking in drains the release of gases uh, foul smell and problem in uh, wastewater management the, these are all the uh, things effect of the land pollution uh, release of radioactive rays bio magnification and pollutant gases cause cause the health problems so here next we can see the noise pollution or sound pollution so sound pollution is excessive displacing uh, humans or animals and machine created environment and noise that disturb the activity of balance of humans or animal life the sound became undesirable when it disturb the normal activity such as working and sleeping and during the conversations so world health organization who stated that noise must be recognized as a major threat to human well being so always the noise will affect the brain cells through the air so this noise the decibel which is very high level of uh, decibel which affect the neurons in the brains so due to that lot of disorder may happen so that is a major problem Uh, the source of sound pollution industrial noise uh, machine crushing and grinding drilling and stamping metals so interest industrial noise uh, it is a one of the major problem that's why the government of india which is starting the industry where the human population is there that place they should not start any industry the industry always should be available very distant uh, area where the human occupation is uh, available so so that it cannot be affected the human beings or livelihood of the humans 
so that should be followed very strictly and the residential area the people should not start any industry which is uh, creating the noise uh, pollution and transportation of noise vehicular noise engine in jets motor in trucks aer aeroplane noise this will be one of the major problems or uh, it is creating the uh, sound pollution and domestic and religious activities the domestic and religious activities also one of the uh, source for the noise pollution and effect of sound pollution according to the us epa there are direct links between noise and health also noise pollution adversely affect the lives of millions of people so due to noise pollution the restless uh, restless mind will be happen and the people cannot concentrate uh, properly and it is also creating by the noise pollution only the level is very important so that uh, the decibel level is increasing that will be much more destruction the noise pollution can damage the physiological and psychological health of the uh, human beings high blood pressure stress related illness sleep disturbance uh, disruption hearing losses and productivity loss are the problem related to the noise pollution so hearing loss also will happen is much more uh, the decibel sound uh, will occurring the places that is why most of the industry the people wherever they are working they are using the, some uh, prevention instruments uh, uh, while working in the industries to prevent the uh, uh, damage from the noise pollution it can also cause memory loss severe depression and panic attacks so these are these are all the things uh, due to the uh, noise pollution it is happening so here uh, prevention of pollution it is one of the important things you see natural environment which is given by the nature so we need to preserve the natural environment as it is when the nature is given the similarly we need to preserve and prevent so that is our main duty so we should not pollute the environment whenever the plastics or uh, uh, unwanted material which is used that should be disposed properly and uh, the correct point we need to dispose so otherwise it it will be directly or indirectly uh, to the harmful to uh, harmful to the animals or plants so you see most of the marine environment the fishing nets which is uh, left by the fishermen till now it is available in the marine environment there many fishes are entangling in the net and it is dying so that is also one of the problem even the marine environment having the plastics the plastic which is uh, consumed by the fishes uh, and uh, it is so the it will be creating lot of uh, problem in the industry in the, in the industry of the fishes and the fishes will be uh, died so that is also uh, because the fish uh, it is thinking it is a food material so it is misunderstanding so most of the fishes most of the marine animals which is destroying or dying by the man made activities in the marine environment and also that uh, oil leakage from the ships that is one of the major problem whenever the oil leakage is happening that uh, the water environment which is uh, totally the top level surrounded by the oils so suffocation will be happen inside uh, uh, the fishes because the dissolved oxygen level is uh, much more it will be decreased so there the particular environment most of the fishes or uh, which is depend on the that water environment which is dying so that is our main duty uh, to save the environment and even the pesticide which is used in the agricultural land uh, during the raining season it is mingled with the sea uh, 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 that uh, river water and then it is reaching to the marine environment it is affecting the marine fishes and uh, uh, small algae so that is one of the major uh, problem and uh, that uh, radioactive reactors uh, 
which is releasing the contaminated water water to the marine environment due to that the marine fishes the vision also which is uh, uh, gone and most of the fishes uh, it is creating the mutant the genetic mutant also happening due to the radioactive materials which is mingled with the uh, marine water due to the anthropogenic activities so these are all the problems which is created by the human being uh, to the nature so that should be prevented so how you can prevent first you should know about what is a pollution and what is a pollutant then only how to prevent that so without uh, knowing or without having the knowledge of that you cannot prevent anything you should know that what is a pollution how to prevent that the mostly the three methods they are telling the pollution whatever the uh, the pollutant which is creating the pollution the pollutant must to be reduced that is the first thing or we can go for natural uh, uh, methods and uh, reducing the source first then reuse so whenever you are reusing if suppose one plastic is a uh, thousand ton a uh, ton it is produced uh, then you are reuse the same mean you cannot produce another thousand ton of the plastics so that uh, due to that the, the the production is reduced reduced and reuse the material and recycle the materials once a thousand ton of plastic which is introduced in the environment mean the, while you are recycling the same you cannot produce another thousand ton the same thing can be used so due to that the level of the pollutant is decreasing or we have decreased so reduce reuse or recycle this method is uh, important methods that should be follow and uh, you have to save the natural environment as it is given by the nation and it will be given to the generation of futures Thank you. Thank you very much.